Hey guys, so welcome back to <coughs> Hell Hunter Damn Soul Part 2. So yesterday we left off after we held the witch to deliver some uh, uh, a pack and and we got the wolf relic. So today we're gonna go to the mountain. I guess. So yesterday, um, we have posted something regarding Hell Hunter, damned soul. Give away Move among the options in the main menu with the left and right arrow so you keys. Can, you guys can then press Control to select an option. This video, I mean, of this series, maybe who knows? You are the one who will get the three copies all of Hell Hunter. New game, load game. I mean, who knows? Maybe you are one of them. From three percent. You have reached meeting point. Saving point. You saved the game. Tree. Between time. Medic rock. Me There's no R Alucard. Alucard suggests to the capital. You have reached road to the capital. To the witch's lair. Also, you opened the inventory page. Five. Blood vial. A crystallized one. Wolf relic. A mummified paw of a wolf. It allows Elian to morph into a wolf. A wolf shape is very effective against heavy and armored enemies. So you can see the effective of the relic. I mean the description of the relic if you go to uh, your item and it will tell you it is effective against nothing what type of you thing. opened the menu you're back in the map signed to the witch's lair mm, after a very long leap Elian lands on the mountain without any problem and returns to dampier shape he searches for a while in the depths of the forests until he finally finds the entrance of a cave. Some steps later, the passage starts to be illuminated. There's a wide area before Elian, and the space is full of colored and luminous crystals. Elian also sees that a group of witches is gathering there. Looks like they are coming for him. Clearly he's not welcome here. They were ready to intercept him, but they didn't expect this hitch. Elian tried to explain the situation, but the witches won't listen to him, and so they prepare their catalysts and take some time to invoke their familiars. You have reached Witch's Lair 1. Witch. The battle begins. The battle ends. Elian gains 100 experience points. Press control. Crystals. Upward. Crystals. Those magnificent rocks emit lights of many colors like red, blue, green, and violet. Anyway, the light is not natural. That's just a spell cast on them, probably by the witches. The color choice could be just a matter of aesthetics. This ambience is really nice though. Those mag- Familiar. The battle begins. The battle ends. Elian gains 110 experience points. Press control. Crystals. Computers. 
On many rows of desks, there are even more computers. They're very recent models. Elian knows how to use computers, but he doesn't know what those monitors are showing on the screen. It looks like some hacker stuff. He doesn't see any cables. They seem fueled by magic. On many rows of which the battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains one hundred experience points. Press control. Crystals computer the road to the capital. Upward. Let's go upward, shall we? Elian tries to not spend much time against the witches and aims at the leader, so he reaches another wide area. There are many fluorescent and natural columns. There are other crystals as well, and the sight would be very pleasant if only he wasn't chased by all the witches that are starting to arrive. On the way, there's a huge crystal which blocks the path. You have reached Witch's Lair too. Familiar. The battle begins. The battle ends. Elian gains 110 experience points. Elian gets blood vial. Which the battle begins. The battle ends. Elian gains 100 experience points. Press control. Hardware. Upward. Hardware. There are many types of hardware in this area, not just computers. The witches aren't joking for sure. There are many types. Huge crystal. Downward. Huge crystal. Elian gets close. It's amazing the size of this crystal. When he touches it, it suddenly starts to shake. Elian steps back. It's actually starting to move. It was a curled up crystal golem. Now he's standing and aims at Elian with its huge fists. Monsters like this have to be defeated with brute force. And they are resistant too. They are strong, but slower than other monsters. Battle begins. So I changed the wolf ship by pressing shift and I'm fighting. The battle ends. Elian gains 150 experience points. Press control. Familiar. Upward. From hardware. Downward. I wish this is a way to save. A better save. Save. Upward. To which is lair one. Yeah. I have to go back to the little corner and save. To heal myself a bit, and then I'll go back up. You have reached to the witches, to the entrance, to outside the capital, to the entrance, to out. You have saved meeting point. You saved the gate to the capital. You have to the witches road to. The You have reached which the battle begins.
The battle ends. Elian gains 100 experience points. Press. You oak life exper. Elian reached level 1. 1,030 experience for the next. You're back in the map, <laughs> crystals. Too much Familiar. For me. The battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains 100 crystal computers, which the battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains 100 XP. Chris, computer the road to the upward. You have familiar. The battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains one hundred ten XP. Which the battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains what hardware downward, upward. Finally, there's one last wide space. Many crystals are scattered around like in the other spaces. There are many magical screens on the walls of the cave. They really look like big monitor screens, but flat and made of magic. The most powerful witches are gathered here, and among them, one catches Elian's attention. She's the leader and stands up. Her gaze is very nervous, and she expects to hear an explanation from him. You have reached Witch's Lair, Leader's Hall. Witches. They don't trust Elian, but it's up to their leader to decide his destiny. Most of them look very young. There's also some older ones, who are dressed as in the collective imagination. They don't screens. Those huge screens are suspended in the air next to the walls. They could be mistaken for holograms, but they are literally 2D flat screens, completely made of magic. Elian notices that on the desks nearby, there are flat consoles made of magic used to interact with them. But due to their nature, the term hardware is not proper anymore. Those which they don't desk. On the desk is the personal laptop of the leader of the witches. It is customized in a very particular way. Some components are physical, the rest are made of magic. Still, they both merge. There's also some amulet and a tome on it. On the dead dummies. Scattered all around the area, there are straw dummies of many sizes. Most of them are hung on the ceiling by their necks. Witches can use them for their spells and rituals in countless ways. Scattered all bookshelves. The shelves are filled with tomes, books, and scrolls of many sizes. It is unlikely that Elian will ever get a chance to get closer to them. Leader of the book, the shell, lead downward, leader of the witches. So, I think this is our first boss battle. So basically, the boss battle have deadly attacks. So, 
my suggestion is first you have to listen to the pattern I mean how much time he will do the normal attack before the deadly so that you won't get hurt by the deadly one. so that's it the leader looks like an adult woman yet quite young she has short and spiky blonde hair she's dressed in a way which resembles the witches of the past yet the dress looks modern somehow the leader of the witches has an authoritarian attitude and a harsh gaze it won't be easy to deal with her Elian takes a step forward and quickly explains the situation as she could imagine he came to find a way to stop the plague and the web collapse she can tell for sure that Elian has been sent from the mayor so she won't trust him actually she's even more nervous than before she shouts at Elian that the mayor and all his pawns are just a pile of trash and nothing good will come from that government so she threatens Elian to go away or she will kill him Elian knows that he can't win against all those witches at the same time his only chance is challenging the leader to a duel so he takes another step forward and draws his sword she's quite angry but yet teased from his attitude so she will duel against him although she's a witch she can cast normal spells without even chanting a word in other words she can fight melee with magic while covered from an instant magic barrier she is a versatile type of enemy brute force is required to win and she's not slow on the other hand her strength is medium yes this enemy has a special attack called deadly attack this is a sudden attack that an enemy can use during the battle when you hear this sound the enemy is doing his deadly attack you can dodge it like any other attack but if you get hit the attack is usually stronger and it can apply extra effects so like strengthening the enemy or weakening alien for a first. period of time the extra effects can be of many kinds and some of them can be applied by the enemy even without hitting alien with a deadly attack there you go the battle begins One. There we go, the deadly one. The battle ends. Elian gains 220 experience points. Press control to continue. After an intense battle, she runs out of magic power. Elian notices, and so, with a swift jab, he crushes her barrier. After dodging her sudden flame burst, he dashes toward her. An instant later, he stops a few centimeters from her. His blade is even closer to her throat. The leader of the witches is forced to surrender, even if she's full of shame and rage. Despite her state of mind, she tries to calm down and, still very annoyed from the loss, 
asks Elian what exactly he expects to obtain from them. This time Elian explains every single detail, but also adds that he doesn't want to follow the orders of the mayor. Still, this situation must end. He also says his true mission within the capital. She's going to kill the mayor and the other members of his party anyway. The girl that died on the square was the daughter of one of the witches inside this lair. The leader says that this is just their working station. Any single witch has a family to whom they return. Many of them decided to live inside the capital as normal citizens, but their safety is not granted, as long as a government like that will rule the capital. She has a solution for Elian. He just has to return inside the government palace and announce the success of his task. At that moment he will have to activate a certain artifact, which is now in her hands. That artifact will teleport all the witches in that place. They will exterminate their target, and so Elian will get his chance to get the document he's searching for. It's not easy for Elian to decide. Even if his role is just to activate a magic item, the consequence of that action will be mass murder. Still, he saw that girl dying with his own eyes. The pain of that mother. He has a reason to make them pay. She's not the first victim, nor the last of this dictature, which is not legitimized by the local laws. In any case, his mission has a greater purpose and involves the whole of mankind and Last but not least, he's a vampire hunter, not a hero. Elian accepts and gets the artifact. Now he can return to the government palace. Downward, witches, da leader of the witches. As long as he will cooperate, the leader will consider Elian as an ally. She apologizes for her behavior and show some respect for his skill. As long as da witch screen witches, they don't trust downward. You have familiar. Let's fight more for The battle begins. The battle ends. Elian gains one hundred. Which? The battle begins. The battle ends. Elian gains one hundred. Hardware. Hedgehog plush. Above one of those desks, next to a laptop, there's a stumpy hedgehog plush. It's in a belly-up position. Elian can't help but notice its huge smile. Also, its eyes always stare at Elian, no matter the perspective from where he observes the plush. There's no trace of magic, but it almost looks alive. It's a bit dirty. Downward. Hedgehog plus above one of those down upward. Downward. You have re which is life points. Exp you're back in the map. Life experience. Alien reached level one. One hundred eighty. Experience. You're back in the map. Which the battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains one hundred experience crystals. No familiar. 
The battle begins. Whoops. The battle ends. Elian gains 110 experience points. Elian increases his experience level. Press control. Crystals. Compute which. The battle begins. Less than 70. The battle ends. Elian gain. Crystal comes to the road, upward to the road to the capital. You have reached road to the witches to the entrance to outside. A safe, and then we go to the government's palace. You have saved you meeting point. You saved the gate to the capital. You have to, to the road to the two out to the to the entrance. You have to the help of capital two alleys. Alleys and we go to square. <coughs> you to the, up to, to the Capra core to the end to the square. You have reached capital square six. Blood vi one wolf red one artifact a powerful artifact which channels a space-time spell Elian received it from the leader of the witches You open your back saving put meta saving you say me soldier The battle begins <coughs> The battle ends Alien saving point meta set use meta it's him soldier the battle begins <laughs> the battle ends alien saving you to, to the alleys to the government palace You have reached Government Palace, Lord's flag. A flag of the current mayor's clerk. To the square, to the mayor's, to flo to the mayor. The place that Elian is searching for is not here. To floor flag, mayor's clerk. All right, here's where the fun begin. Let's do this, shall we? Elian communicates the success of the mission. He's glad to hear the news, so he invites Elian to follow him upstairs. As soon as he turns around and steps forward, Elian activates the artifact received from the leader of the witches. A blue flash, along with a vacuum sound, makes an army of implacable witches appear from nowhere. They've already prepared their spells. An elemental storm envelops the whole room, which gets covered by screams everywhere. People escape from the palace, except for the members of the government that the witches won't let go for anything in the world. Some military forces and secret service enter to shoot at the menace, but the bullets are deflected by their magic barriers, supported by the power of the leader. The ambush won't allow them to counter, no matter how heavy their guns are. The leader takes a moment to cast an invisibility spell on Elian. He doesn't waste a second and immediately starts to search for the secret archives. To the square, Mayor's clerk. The Major's clerk is hidden in a corner of the hall. Flag to floor B1. Alien quickly sneaks inside. Just a few seconds and he will return visible. They are more than enough to bypass the whole security. At some steps from the door of the secret archives, a voice orders him to stop. He's the head of the secret services. He wears a pair of sunglasses, 
but Elian can feel his gaze, and he's not an ordinary guy. The man is slowly moving his hands toward the two colts that he hides under his coat. Elian must act without hesitation. You have reached Government Palace, floor B1, vending machine. Elian shielded himself with it from the first two shots of his colts. He didn't expect that it would have been even more useful in this way, rather than in the normal way. Elian shielded Secret Service. The battle begins. The enemy is getting faster. The battle ends. Elian gains 120 experience points. Press control. Vending machine. Round table. After making a swift leap, he kicked the table and managed to shield himself from the bullets. After me Secret Service. The battle 100% life points. The enemy is getting faster. 100% life points. The battle ends. Alien gains 120 experience points. Press control. Vending round chairs. They didn't work as a cover. Still, he managed to buy some time throwing a couple of them. They didn't. Head of the Secret Services. To Floor's Head of the Secret Services. Now Elian is close enough to counteract the disadvantage against a ranged weapon. Still, he's very fast and accurate, so it won't be easy. Enemies like this are faster, even if less strong. The battle begins. <laughs> Alien is defeated. Seems like this is the end. <laughs> Press the left arrow to load. You have reached capital. To the government palace. Seems like I don't have to do <coughs> You I'm have reached governor to floor to the mayor to the square. Mayor's clerk. Alien. Flat mayor. The mayor. To the, to the mayor's room, to the square, to the floor, B. Alien quickly sneaks inside. Just a. You have vending. Got Ellie. Ellie. Secret service. The battle begins. The enemy is getting faster. 100% life points. The battle ends. Elliot Vending Round Secret Service. The battle begins. The enemy is getting faster. The battle ends. Elliot Vending Round Chairs. They Run up, up, check head of the snuff. The battle begins. Thank <laughs> you. 
The battle ends. Elian gains 250 experience points. Elian gets blood vial. Press control. Elian strikes his guns. They are damaged to the point they won't be able to shoot anymore. With a kick, Elian makes the head of the Secret Service fall on the ground. He lost. Still, Elian knows that he cannot let one like him escape. Elian tells him, staring straight into his eyes, if he manages to escape, then he will call reinforcements, or even chase him at a later time. The Secret Service can arrive anywhere, so he says that he must kill him. He doesn't even have the time to negotiate. So Elian points the blade at the chest of the guy and makes a light slash on it. Hearing a reaction of pain from him, he starts to laugh. Elian also says that he will need to suck all his blood so they won't be able to recognize him. And last but not least, before that happens, he will devour his heart. After saying that out loud, Elian morphs into a wolf and leaps over him. The man starts to scream in fear. Elian rips his clothes with his fangs and, when the chest is exposed, he lightly bites it to the point of making him bleed. At that point he won't stop screaming. Elian can see his eyes, despite the sunglasses, and notices a familiar gaze. That was his gaze when he ran away from Dracula. Elian turns back into a dampier and frees his prey from his deadly assault. He gets up and desperately runs away. Elian already knows that he won't annoy him anymore for the rest of his life. He's glad he managed to avoid killing him. Now he can enter inside the secret archive room. Chairs. Secret chair. To, to this to secret service. Round seek vent to this to floor chairs. To, to the secret archive. This room is full of shelves. Countless top secret documents are stored here. But Elian is here only for the one for his mission. So he starts his research without wasting a second. You have archive government to floor archive shelf one. Detailed information about the most shocking political assassinations of the last century are archived on this shelf. Archive Shelf 2. Many unknown facts about secret deals among the governments of the last decades and criminal organizations can be found on this shelf. Archive Shelf 3. An entire shelf is dedicated to top secret files about the Second World War. Archive Shelf 4. On this shelf, it is possible to know all the missing details about the most shocking mass murders of this nation from the last century. There are even the names of instigators and perpetrators. Archive Shelf 5 There's an entire shelf which contains all the sightings of monsters, real or presumed, inside the territory of the nation. Particular attention is given to vampires and huge creatures. Archive Shelf 6 On this shelf are stored all the contracts stipulated from the nation with multinationals of the world. There are even detailed reports about the impact on climate change, global warming and pollution. Archive Shelf 7 this shelf contains many documents about political agreements of the last century. Archive Shelf 8. This shelf is very dusty. It seems like people are used to leaving the secret archive after checking the first seven shelves. This shelf to fl Archive Shelf 1. Detail Arc many un many unknown archive and in archive on Archive Shelf There Archive Shelf 6 On this shelf are stored So basically
the document is at seven arc uh, the seventh um, shelf but I just check over them just to make sure there's nothing I'm missing but archive shelf seven let's do this on a closer look Elian finds the document he was searching for he didn't expect to find it on this shelf Elian gets the secret document and now he can leave this palace Elian hides the document and quickly exits from the room. To go faster and not be recognized, he morphs into a wolf and rushes toward floor zero, faster than the wind. The battle is still going on, even if it should rather be called a one-sided massacre. With a leap, he escapes through a window, breaking the glass. Before someone can see him, he hides among the bushes and turns back into a dampier. Finally, Elian exits the gate, as if nothing happened. Now he can return to the meeting point. You have reached Capital Square, to the government palace, to the alleys, soldier. The battle begins. <laughs> The battle ends. Alien saving point. You to the government path to the alleys. You have reached the capital. Abandoned building to the witch house. Up to the square. To the entrance. You have to the help capital. Two alleys. To the road to the capital. You have to the witches. Road to the entrance. To outside the capital. You have re safe meeting tree. Medic rock. Medic. Alucard usually puts some transfusion bags inside the medical kit periodically. And based on what he says, he doesn't need them. He can rely on his personal supply of blood vials. So Elian just picks them up and transfers the blood inside the vials he creates, with the crystallization of his dampier powers. This time there are three transfusion bags, so Elian gets three blood vials. Let's see how much I get. You opened the inventory page. Ten. Blood vial. Ooh. You open your back rock. Alucard. To saving. You say to Alucard. Elian returned with the secret document. Alucard tells him he did a good job. They read the document together. Seems like there's an alliance between the capital and a group of vampires. It started decades ago, and government by government. They are always in contact with many influential politicians of the place. The nature of the agreement ranges from exchanges of favors in their activities to sharing of information, especially now that technology has spread all over the world. Elian is quite surprised, but Alucard tells him that Dracula has owned for centuries the monopoly of advanced technologies and now that the web exists and plays a fundamental role in the economy and society, the fact that all the other vampires are excluded on purpose from its control is the straw that broke the camel's back. Not one of them has the power to pose a threat to Dracula, Dracula. so they have to secretly form groups and need the help of governments or other organizations to get access to technology. That's not what Alucard was searching for, but there's more. That's the stipulation of the agreement. Oh no! Oh shoot! No, 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 no! I wanted to interrupt the speech, but I press control and interrupt both. Alucard tells Elian that it's possible to reach any. Um. Well, that's, that's the good thing that I saved. It. Thing before I actually interact with Anakin. Hell hunt new get load get
You have to allo meeting to the Alucard. Elian returned with the secret document. Alucard tells him he did a good job. They read the document together. Seems like there's an alliance between the capital and a group of vampires. It started decades ago, and government by government, they are always in contact with many influential politicians of the place. The nature of the agreement ranges from exchanges of favors in their activities to sharing of information, especially now that technology has spread all over the world. Elian is quite surprised, but Alucard tells him that Dracula has owned for centuries the monopoly of advanced technologies, and now that the web exists and plays a fundamental role in the economy and society, the fact that all the other vampires are excluded on purpose from its control is the straw that broke the camel's back. Not one of them has the power to pose a threat to Dracula, so they have to secretly form groups and need the help of governments or other organizations to get access to technology. That's not what Alucard was searching for, but there's more. At the stipulation of the agreement, both the parties exchanged an important document as a sign of acceptance. In that way, the vampires got back a very special document. That document is the Black Scroll, which was stolen from a former vampire hunter who worked for the capital about a hundred years ago. Alucard reacts to that. It's the document he was searching for. The Black Scroll has been hid inside a place called the Catacombs of Oblivion. So that's Elian's next destination. As Alucard speaks, she suddenly appears. Elian's former Scarlet Torturer. The beauty approaches Elian from behind and slowly girds his torso with her left arm, and with the other hand she covers his mouth. Alucard doesn't react in any way to the scene, so not even one like him can see her. With a trace of mockery in her voice, she tells Elian that she feels sorry for him. According to her, he just takes orders from that guy and obeys. While the right hand slips down to his throat, her head leans toward Elian. Her red lips are in contact with his right ear. Then she whispers that she wonders what that handsome man does when Elian leaves him alone. She also reminds him that nothing changed since their first meeting. But his only master is her, and no one else. Elian is used to ignoring her, but since he's having an important conversation with Alucard, he gets nervous and moves as if to shake it off. She gets back and laughs out loud, before disappearing. Alucard asks Elian what's the matter. He answers that it's nothing. He just thought of a ghost from his past. Alucard is not sure he understands, but warns Elian that it sounds like the typical weakness that Dracula can turn into fear in order to defeat his enemy. So he says that Elian needs to work on it, and solve the problem before the great battle. Elian knows perfectly well what he means. Dracula already did that to him. Anyway, Alucard gets up and gives him a relic. It's the soul of a wolf. With this relic, Elian will be able to travel as fast as a car, or even faster, while transformed into a wolf, without wasting much energy. Elian thanks him and prepares to go to the catacombs of oblivion. Yeah, let's go to the next destination. Alucard tells Elian to the capital. Alucard. Alucard tells Elian that it's possible to reach any place from here, like the capital and the catacombs of oblivion. That's why they chose this area as a meeting place, after all. Metri, saving, you say, tree, medical, there's no, rock, Alucard, to the capital.
to the catacombs of oblivion. With the power of the soul of Wolf Relic, Elian covered the distance in no time. He arrives at the place. In the middle of a mountain chain, there's a cave entrance sheltered from the sun. Elian ventures inside it. Aside from the stagnant smell of death, this place gives him a horrible sensation. On the way there's some candles which grant a dim light, better than nothing. Elian feels like he's being watched. Many bones, corpses and rudimentary coffins are piled and stocked all over the place. But he already knows that there's no better place than this to find a nest of undead. He hears many steps, which become faster and then jump. A group of ghouls arrive to welcome their guest. They are humanoid undead that unlike zombies, are fast and intelligent. Under their pale blue skin, their bones agitate and emerge out of their skin to be used as sharp weapons. They stare at Elian and emit feral noises. You have reached catacombs, fifty feet below ground. Candles. I think in this case I'm gonna enable. Oh no, I will see first before I actually enable the sub uh, alert on the point attack. Those candles are still lit, yet it's definitely not a place populated by people. Ellie, those candles are still lit, yet it's definitely not a place populated by people. Elian can sense some magic inside them. They have been crafted with a ritual. They will burn for centuries. Ghoul. The battle begins. Elian is getting slower. The battle ends. They kill all of this ghoul. Elian gains 120 experience points. Press can candles, bones. Most of them are humanoid bones, but he's not sure if they are human bones. Also, there are many bones from monsters as well. Most of them. Holes. On the walls, there are many rectangle shaped holes. Inside them, there are the candles, along with many wooden coffins. Elian could swear he heard something moving inside one of the coffins. On the wall, ghoul. Ghoul. The battle begins. Elian is getting slower. Ghoul. More than 75% life points. The battle ends. Elian gains 120. It can bone hold to outside downward. Elian descends to a path filled with coffins. Some of them are opened and empty. As he goes further, he hears some steps. Many steps, actually. They are there, all gathered in one place and covered from head to toe with linen cloths. There's a herd of mummies. They are too many. It seems impossible to pass behind them. Elian could even consider ignoring them. You have reached Catac Corpse. Elian uses his power and touches the corpse. He was in search of treasure inside the coffins. When he got close to those sarcophagi, they all came out. They were countless and surrounded him. Even if he tried to run away, it was too late. They grabbed him. His limbs broke by the pressure, his neck as well. 
not before his eyes were gouged out by their fingers. Alien coffins. Probably those were mummies inside. There's even some closed coffins. But Elian is not interested in knowing what's inside. Probably mummy. The battle begins. The enemy is getting stronger. The battle ends. Alien gains 100 experience points. Press control. Alien slays a mummy. A few seconds later, the body returns to its previous state. Ew. The beads as well. And the mummy immediately stands up. If the mummies regenerate so fast, Alien will never be able to defeat them. He's forced to retire. There's probably an ongoing ritual which allows them to keep regenerating. But, you know, this is a you great have reached place to co mummy. gain experience. The battle begins. <gasps> Whoops. Less than 75% life points. The enemy is getting stronger. The battle ends. Alien. Alien slays a mummy. A few seconds later, the body returns to its freedom. You have downward catacombs. Caught downward. In this area, Alien hears someone muttering. As a humanoid being facing away. He's brewing something inside a cauldron, which is placed under a blue fire. A sort of stew is boiling, and emits a nauseating smell. You have re- Save Catacomb. You saved the game, corpse. The battle begins. Alien is getting slower. The battle ends. Alien gains 120 experience points. Press control. Alien has been caught by surprise by that ghoul, which he's mistaken for a humanoid corpse. Ooh. Why was it here? Wall. Corpse. Saving. Po you saved the game. You opened life. Exp Alien reached level 2. 2,000. Six hundred or seven corpse wall. What it seems to be is a bunch of ingredients hung on the wall, and there are holes in the wall as well that contain other ingredients. Those ingredients are old spices, bones, insects, meat from many creatures, entrails, Ew. and many other organs. What it seems to Goat skin. A goat skin is next to the wall. Elian checks the contents. Blood. He transfers the blood to his vials and gets two blood vials. Perfect. Corpse. Save use. Goat skin. The goat's necromancer. Cauldron. Upward. Cauldron. Inside the cauldron, there's an almost black liquid which is boiling. On the surface, some ingredient slightly emerges. What Elian just saw is more than enough to make him desist from looking longer inside the cauldron. In Necromancer. Let's meet our um, dead boss battle, I guess. That cauldron is actually the catalyst of a ritual. Elian realizes that the creature in front of him is a necromancer. If he attacks him now, he could kill him in one blow. Elian swiftly moves forward, but he fell into a trap. The necromancer suddenly turns around and, after picking something from the cauldron with his bare hands, 
He pulls it out and throws it at Elian. It's a giant Scolopendra. It's still alive and it wraps around Elian's body. Right away, the necromancer is ready to cast spells at will upon Elian. Monsters that can attack from many directions or that can grab Elian can be defeated faster dodging them rather than with brute force. The battle begins. The battle ends. Elian gains 200 experience points. Elian gets blood vial. Press control to continue. Elian frees himself from the Scolopendra and with a slash cuts the throat of the necromancer, which dissolves into dust. Elian extinguishes the blue flame under the cauldron. The ritual is stopped. Upward, cauldron. Up, downward. So basically, from what I've known is, um, you have to go upward and kill the mummies and cut off one thing. But now I will show you what if you doesn't do that. Upward, downward. Alien keeps descending. The path is even deeper. After a long walk, Elian starts to hear a very annoying and continuous noise, which is caused by swarms of hellish locusts. They don't infest the crops, but rather human population. Luckily, they are stuck here. There's also a malevolent presence. Elian notices some statues with a wicked shape. They represent humanoid limbs all twisted among themselves, and their union forms a humanoid shape. You have reached cat-dried corpses. There's literally a pile of corpses. They are dried to bones. The cause must be those hellish locusts. There's a swarm of hellish locusts. The battle begins. I guess the I better go up and ends. save first. Alien gains one. Swarm of hellish no, locusts. No, no. The battle begins. Less than 75% life points. The battle ends. Alien gains one. You oak quit. Alert sound. You're back in the map. Dried cork chalks. The only reason why there could be a bunch of chalk here is because they are used to trace figures on the floor or the walls. Probably for a rich 
statue of the anathema. Alien is defeated. What? Seems like this is the end. Oh no! Press the left arrow to load the last save. You have what? reached catacombs. 150 save a corpse. Fresh. Save a corpse. Wall. What? What? Goats. The goat. The goat. Necromat called in. Inside. Up. Down. Up. Down. Save you. You. Duck. Necromans. That call. Battle. Less than 75% life points. Less than 50% life points. The battle ends. Alien gains two. Alien frees him. Upward. Down. Save. You save. Downward. Yeah, I should have saved there. Alien keeps descending. The path is even deeper. You have a swarm of hellish locusts. The battle begins. No. Hell credit. You have catacomb battle back one forty ten alert. Quit get your back saving use down upward down. Alien keeps descending. The path. You have a swarm of hellish locusts. The battle. The battle ends. Not easier. Alien gain downward. Swarm of hellish locusts. The battle begins. More than seventy five per cent life points. The battle ends. Alien. Dried corpus as chalks. The up uh, the up uh, statue of the anathema. <laughs> the battle ends. That's a bug, I think. Alien gains 180 experience points. Press control. I changed, basically I changed to move from kill them. Dried corp chalks. Upward. Statue. Downward. Okay. Alien can see an altar here. There's also some bookshelf. 
In front of the altar there's a skeleton which still moves, but he's not an ordinary one. He's dressed and wears a cloak. He's reading a tome, and he emits an eerie fog. Elian fears that a lich stands before him, a powerful and undead sorcerer who sold his soul in exchange for power, knowledge, and eternal life. You have read books, catacombs, many books, tomes, and scrolls are stored here. Most of them are about black magic, necromancy, and rituals. There's also some books about anatomy and medicine. Elian checked all the scrolls, but the black scroll is not here. Many piles of bones. There are many bones. They are piled like columns. Elian can't tell if that has been done for making some ritual, or if it's just for the sake of the macabre. There are lich, altar, upward, all Elian won't be able to check the Elian won't be able to check the altar. Not until the lich is there. Lich, Elian steps forward. The lich closes the tome and puts it on the altar. He turns toward Elian. The cavities of his skull emit a blue light. He invites Elian to surrender. In that way, it won't hurt when he will enslave his soul for eternity. Elian draws his sword and prepares to fight. The battle. Elian is getting weaker. Elian is getting slower. The enemy is getting less than seventy five per cent life points. Elian is getting weak. Elian is getting slower. Elian is getting weaker. Elian is getting slower. The enemy is getting strong. Less than 10% life points. Elian is getting Elian is getting slow. Elian is getting weak. Elian is getting slow. Elian is getting weaker. Elian is getting slower. Elian is getting Elian is getting slow. The enemy is getting strong. The enemy is getting... Alien is getting... Alien is getting... Elian is getting weaker. Elian is getting slower. Elian is getting weaker. Elian is getting slower. The battle ends. Elian gains 450 experience points. Press control. The lich crumbles just to be reborn from his ashes. A bond with his phylactery grants him eternal life. No matter how many times Elian can defeat the Lich. 
So he retreats before things get worse. Okay. Elian must find his phylactery. It must be hidden somewhere in the catacombs, in a safe place. Piles of the book narrow path downward, upward. You have a swarm of hellish locusts. The battle begins. Less than 50% life points. The battle ends. Alien downward, upward. You have saved you cut down upward. Not there, I think it's here. Beneath all of these mummies. You have ripped down a cat mummy. The battle begin. <coughs> <coughs> The enemy is getting strong. The battle ends. Alien get mummy. The battle big. The enemy is getting. The battle ends. Elliot Sarcophagi, mummy. The battle big. The enemy is getting. The battle ends. Alien gains 100 experience points. Alien get sarcophagi. There are still too many mummies. Alien can't even get one step closer. Mummy. Mummy. The battle begins. Whoops. Less than 75% of the enemy is getting points. strong. The battle ends. Alien gains one hundred coffins. Mum, mummy, sarcophagi. You opened the inventory page. Well, blood. You opened. You're back in the map. Finally, Alien can reach the sarcophagus. He decides to open its heavy lid. On first glance, it's empty. But among the darkness, Alien notices a weird item. It could be a phylactery, since they are often bound to a lich and, considering the place, Elian doesn't hesitate and cuts it with his sword. M mummy, upward, downward. Alright, now I think we can kill the lich. You have li Kataku, life exp- Elian reached level 2. One thousand one hundred your better saving point used downward. You have a swarm of hellish locusts. The battle. The battle ends. Alien downward. You have n up can alter lich. Alien. The battle begins. <laughs> Less than seventy five per cent life points. The enemy is getting. Less than 75% life points. 
alien is defeated. What is this? Seems like this is the end. So basically this thing is <laughs> Press the left arrow to load the... You have... Save a Kataka downward. This thing doesn't have a pattern, I guess. So it's hard to count when he will counter. You have a swarm of hellish locusts. The battle big. Well, we're almost done with this area, I guess. The battle ends. Alien gains downward. Upward. Altar. Lich. Alien. The battle begins. One the enemy is getting strike points. Alien is getting weak. Alien is getting slower. Less than 75% life points. Alien is getting Alien is getting slow. Alien is getting Alien is getting slow. Alien is getting weak. Alien is getting slow. The enemy is getting strong. The enemy is getting strong. Alien is, is defeated. This? Seems like this is the end. <laughs> Press the left arrow to load the- You have downward Kataku. Swarm of hellish locusts. The battle be- The battle ends. Alien downward. Now downward. A cat altar. Lich. Alien. The battle. Less than 75% life points. The enemy is getting strong. Less than 75% life points. Al Alien is getting slow. Alien is getting weaker. Alien is getting slower. This thing doesn't have the pattern, so it's quite hard. 100% life points. Alien is getting weak. Alien is getting slower. The enemy is getting... The enemy is getting... <sighs> the battle ends. Alien gains 450 experience points. Press control. With a powerful blow, Alien splits his skull in half. A blast of blue light forces Alien to cover his eyes. When the darkness returns to dominate this place, he can see on the ground just his cloak. Alien didn't even sense his death. The reason is because no soul has had to abandon its dead body. That is what people get when they come to the conclusion 
that there's something which has a greater value than their soul. Nothing. Upward, all piles of altar. Aside from the tome on the altar, there's nothing. Yet, there's something below. Under the altar, Elian finds some scrolls, and one of them is the Black Scroll. This place is very dangerous. It's not wise to descend further. Also, Elian accomplished his mission, so he should talk to Alucard. Piles, book, narrow, downward, upward. You have swarm of hellish locusts. The battle be... The battle ends. Alien downward, up. You have down catacomb, saving you set down up. Down up, mummy. Oops. The battle big. <laughs> The enemy is getting strong. The battle ends. Alien gains 100 XP upward. You have Kataku XP. Alien reached level 2. 340 XP. You're back in the downward to outside the ghoul. The battle begins. Alien is getting slower. The battle ends. Alien gains 120 XP. Downward to a hole, bone ghoul. Good. The battle begins. Alien is getting slower. The battle ends. Alien gains 120 experience points. Alien gets blood. Downward candles, duck to out. You have saved tree medical rock med. There's no treat to, to the cap Alucard. With the black scroll in his hand, Elian returns and gives it to Alucard. They check the content, but the language is ancient and unknown to Elian but not to Alucard. Hence he starts to read and translates to Elian. It seems like it has been written centuries ago, and inside it is gathered priceless information about Dracula and his castle, information of which not even Alucard was aware of. The relevant details are that, first of all, the castle of Dracula is not just a castle. It's an extension of Dracula's soul, and that explains its chaotic nature. Within the castle, Dracula can channel his will, so it's sentient and shares its perception to Dracula. There's more. Dracula perfected its structure with his knowledge and the advanced technology that only the Lord of Darkness owns. Basically, the castle is a supercomputer of incalculable power. It's fueled by a structure, in part organic and in part electric. The merge with technology makes it immune to human technology, which includes missiles and any other form of weapon. 
Last but not least, the electric energy is gathered with a unique and exclusive system that only Dracula could ever use. A photovoltaic structure is merged with the matter of the castle. Dracula also exploits the vampire's weakness to the sun to increase the capacity of the conversion rate of solar energy up to 100% or more. That's quite shocking. Elian wonders if it's even possible to win against that thing. Alucard is thinking over a measure. The implication of that document and the information they already had mean that Dracula basically can be anywhere and he can perceive everything. Wherever there's human technology. Besides, nothing can harm him from outside the castle. The only way to win is lock the castle, enter it, and fight Dracula. But it's necessary to isolate Dracula from the castle itself also. The Lord of Darkness is not just an epithet. For centuries Dracula has always reincarnated, and so he never dies for good. Alucard knows only one way to do that. He needs the power of time. He's going to borrow it from Galmoth, the god of time. Which means he will have to fight him. That's not a feasible task for Elian. Alucard has other plans for him. Inside the scroll, there was other information about the group of vampires which has existed for centuries. During all this time, they searched for a way to defeat Dracula, and some decades ago, it seems like they found a solution. They are planning something big, step by step, and they meet periodically inside a mansion hidden in a secret location among the mountains. Those meetings are called Dark Assemblies, according to what the document says. They meet at each full moon. Elian must infiltrate that assembly to gather some information. To do that, he will need to steal the identity of one of the members. But it won't be a simple disguise, since he would be discovered in no time. He must craft a relic specifically made for this purpose. He needs a vampire essence to fuel the catalyst. The catalyst is the other component. To be precise, it is a part of the body of the vampire of whom Elian will borrow the identity. Alucard checked the list of the members, and the two closest are located in a stronghold and in a tower, respectively. Especially when sneaking inside the stronghold, Elian will probably need to transform into something small enough to not be seen and be able to fly, like a bat. There's some bat relic inside the catacombs, according to one paragraph of the scroll, about the structure of the catacombs. They are hidden in the same place in which there was a lich. Since Alucard told Elian many things all in one go, if he needs to hear briefly what he has to do again, then he can talk to him before he leaves for the Valley of the Timeless. To the cap, to the cat, to the let, to the cat, to the man, saving po- You saved to, to the chaos top, to the lake stronghold, to the catacombs, to the capital, to the cap- Let's get the relic and we get out and we end the episode here. Oh. You have down to a cat ghoul. Let's fight one ghoul, because I like the Battle ghoul. begins. <laughs> Alien is getting slower. The battle ends. Alien gains 120 experience points. Alien increases his experience level. Press can candle school. The battle Ooh. begins. Alien is getting slower. Good. The battle ends. Alien downward to a holes to Love. 
you have say used to to the lake to the catacomb You have down to down. You have downward. You have saved downward. Swarm of hellish locust. The battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains 110 experience points. Alien gets blood downward. Thanks for the bottle. You have re narrow cat downward, narrow passage. <laughs> Elian, as a wolf, swiftly passes through the narrow path. From there he can proceed by foot through a long path. The way ends with an open space. Elian can see a group of blood skeletons wandering around. Their body is actual blood, shaped like a skeleton. Which is solidified, of course. You. Alucard warned him about the fact that they are stronger than normal monsters. He could attempt to avoid them, walking on the opposite side. Sorry for the phone call. Upward, pedestal. So we have to go here without exploring anything because there are blood skeletons that we have to avoid. So the thing we need here is just pet the pedestal and we have to fight it back. On the pedestal, there's a relic. Elian is about to get the globe, but suddenly from the ceiling falls a giant creature. It's a bat. Elian dodges his attack just in time. That giant bat camouflaged itself with the ceiling due to the darkness which reigns supreme in those catacombs. Anyway, Elian won't allow it to surprise him anymore and prepares for the battle. The battle begins. The enemy is getting faster. The enemy is getting faster. Die. The battle ends. Die. Do not die. Alien gains 300 experience points. Alien gets blood vial. Press control. Now Alien can get the relic. It's a dry bat wing. That must be the bat relic he was searching for. With the bat relic, Elian can now transform into a bat. In this way, he will be able to fly and reach many new places which were out of range before. In battle, he can now transform into a bat as well. To change into a bat shape, 
You follow the same rules as the wolf shape. As a bat, he will have more time to dodge enemy attacks. On the other hand, he will receive more damage in case he fails to dodge. The bat is more suited for battles against groups of monsters. It's suited also for monsters that can attack from many directions, or that are able to grab. To change from a shape to the other ones, you have to press shift. But since Elian has three different shapes, now the shapes will follow this order. Dampier, Wolf, and then Bat. While transformed, Elian won't be able to heal himself with blood vials. Upward. You have re books catacomb narrow path downward, upward. You have re swarm of hellish locust. Less than seventy five per cent life points. Less than fifty per cent life points. Less than fifty per cent life points. The battle ends. Alien downward up. You have downward upward. Down upward. You down to ghoul. Let's fight some ghoul. The battle begins. Alien is getting slower. The battle ends. Alien candles ghoul. The battle begins. Less than 50% life points. Alien is getting slower. The battle ends. Alien downward to outside. You have saved meeting point. You saved the game. All right, this is um. Quit game. Hell hunt eggs. So don't forget to join the giveaway. Maybe I mean, who knows? Maybe you you are the one who get one copy out of three <coughs> from the Hell Hunter Damsel giveaway. So until then, see you next time.